What's going on everybody? XRP Army, welcome back in. In this video, we are going to dive into what Brad Garlinghouse recently said about the upcoming uh, few weeks here and months. He thinks this could be done within weeks. We're going to dive into that. We're also going to talk about what if Ripple wins and what if Ripple loses. What happens with XRP if Ripple wins? What happens with XRP if Ripple loses? So some big things to unpack here in this video, some big things to dive into. All I ask, smash that like button down below. If you're part of the XRP army, please do so. It's totally free to do. Helps us tremendously bumps us up in the old YouTube algorithm, and we're talking about XRP a lot here on the channel, so I appreciate you guys so, so much. First and foremost, though, let's talk about the price action a little bit. We are seeing XRP still rank number six, by the way, by market cap. That market cap just above $24 billion right now. Nice little boost in the price. Next stop could be $0.50. Cents. We've been talking about that. That's our next line of resistance. Hopefully, we can go up there and test it here in the short term. But we know the long-term outlook here for XRP is far, far past $0.50. Cents. That level will get absolutely demolished at some point. And I don't think it really matters if Ripple wins or loses because, well... We'll dive into that a little bit later on in the video, but we are seeing a nice little surge here for crypto. There was some news out there talking about the debt crisis and how the United States is going to figure that out. That's kind of bumped and propped up the markets a little bit here today to start the day. So that's why we're seeing some nice boost in the big cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. Now, when it comes to XRP, one of the things that it was said way back when, what if Ripple loses, right? Well, Brad Garlinghouse said, if Ripple loses, they'll just leave the United States. If the case fails, this is what the CEO Brad Garlinghouse said. And this was, again, I mind you, way back in June of 2023, he said this. Basically, he said, listen, we don't have to, we don't need the United States in order to make our business work. We don't need the US. We'd like to be there, obviously, but we don't need them, right? Now, Right now, this is coming from a Forbes contributor. Right now, the XRP army is carrying all of crypto on its back. What happens if Ripple wins this case? Now, we're going to dive into both these questions, but real quick before we go deeper, I think if Ripple loses, Brad Garlinghouse has every right to leave the United States. And here's the thing. I still think XRP will go up in price. I still think Ripple will grow immensely. It just won't grow with the United States. And in a lot of ways, the U.S. will be left behind. And I think that's the conundrum that the SEC and the United States finds themselves in here with Ripple. On one hand, they don't want to swallow their pride and lose the battle to Ripple. But on the other hand, they know what Ripple has is very, very special. And if they can't recreate it and duplicate it, they're going to be left behind, right? And one of the big things going on right now is just how strong the community has remained throughout this entire two-year-long, uh, you know, period where XRP has been shunned uh, from investors. And a Forbes contributor said, "Right now, the XRP army is carrying all of crypto on its back." I agree with this. Brad Garlinghouse has said this as well. The Forbes contributor noted that potential ruling in favor of Ripple holds the promise of protecting all digital assets, including XRP, from being automatically classified as securities by the SEC. This is not just an XRP-related issue. This is everything that is not Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is the only crypto in the eyes of the SEC that is a commodity, right? Now, when you look at the CFTC, they think Ethereum and Bitcoin are each commodities, at least uh, they have a little different philosophy there. Now, this outcome could prompt the regulatory agencies to essentially reevaluate their entire enforcement-driven approach to crypto regulation, a strategy that has obviously faced a ton of criticism here in the U.S., and just basically because they're not doing anything. They're not moving the ball forward while other countries and governments are. Now, in a previous analysis, the Forbes contributor expressed the U.S. regulator has taken on a challenge beyond its power by suing Ripple. Ripple's going to spend upwards to $100 million in court fees just to fight the good fight here. He sees the court decision as an ultimate litmus test for the SEC's authority and a pivotal moment for regulatory clarity within the crypto space. Now, I've went on record here many times, guys, and said what I think is going to happen when it's all said and done. I think we're looking for a clear winner and loser here. I don't necessarily think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be more of a stalemate. I think they're going to meet in the middle on some level. Ripple's going to pay a fine or what have you, and we are going to get better clarity in terms of 
what is a security, and what you can and cannot do. And I think there's not going to be a clear winner or loser, but XRP will be allowed to uh, be used in the United States. I don't think Ripple will leave the United States. I think the U.S. understands and the SEC understands there's too much to lose by letting Ripple run away out of the U.S. So we'll see what happens. We'll be keeping tabs on it. This is my latest update on the price of XRP, kind of where we stand right now. If you guys got some value out of this, you like this, let me know down below. Drop a comment. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.